Nigeria has a very high mortality rate when it comes to breast cancer. This is due to late detection. A lot of women um, actually live their lives without caring about if they have breast cancer or not and I would say this is due to lack of education about breast cancer. I'm under 30 years of age, so mammogram is recommended for women that are 35 years and above, but women that are both 30 years can have a mammogram. It's called a diagnostic mammogram. The protocol that is being done for a diagnostic mammogram is quite different, but from the age of 30, you can do a mammogram. You can have your baseline mammogram. Do Nigerian women embrace mastectomy? Well, um, first of all, the breast is the beauty of the woman. So, Nigeria, if Nigerian women embrace mastectomy, well, some do, some don't. But I believe, or I think, a high majority don't. So from experience, um, first of all, I would say the breast is the beauty, is the beauty of a woman, and from experience, it's very difficult getting the women to come for screening, mammogram screening, and most of them, once they hear anything concerning cancer, they are always scared, and a lot of them go superstitious on it, saying, God forbid, it's not their portion. So, telling a woman that, okay, your breast will need, or telling a Nigerian woman that she might need to cut off her breast, I don't think <laughs> she's going to take it um, lightly. So breast cancer, first of all, a cancer is an abnormal growth in the body. And um, breast cancer is an abnormal growth within the breast. Know Your Lemons is an organization which has helped to educate the general public about breast cancer by simplifying the signs and symptoms using lemons. So the first sign we look out for is thickened area. So you have thickening in the breast skin. Then you have um, dimpling in the skin. And the next sign is a nipple crust. The next sign is red or hot spots. So sometimes people feel like heat sensation within the breast. And another sign is unexpected discharge. This might be bloody. Another sign to look out for is skin sores. This mostly happens when the cancer is already advanced. Then we have a bump in the skin then growing veins growing veins within the skin we have a sunken nipple so a sunken nipple is due to the fact that the cancer is pulling on the adjacent structures within the breast so it actually pulls in the nipple so another sign is that the breast takes a new shape it isn't the way it used to be before. Sure, then we have orange peel skin. So the skin changes color and looks more like an orange scale, an orange skin, which is known as pull de orange in French. And the obvious sign is a hard lump, which you can feel. So most of the signs can go unnoticeable if you're not checking your breast. So as a woman, you're supposed to check your breast every month. So if you're still menstruating, what you need to do is to pick a date, which can be two days after your period when the breast is less tender and to, to do the self-breast examination. Or if you stop menstruating, you can just pick a random date in the month. It can be the first of every month 
or it can be the last day of every month so just a date that you can easily remember so in doing a self press examination what you have to do you can do it standing up or while lying down so what you have to do is to put your hand behind your head looking into a mirror and move yourself left to right up and down you're looking for changes within the breast change in size change in the shape of the breast and you're also looking at the signs and symptoms which we've talked about and also lying down you can take the three parts of your fingers and go in circular motions all around the breast starting from the outer parts of the breast going inner until you get to your nipple my auntie or a close relation died of breast cancer yeah i really didn't know what it was then um, and it was quite painful my mom's friend as well died of breast cancer and i have a close family friend that also died of breast cancer so it's something that's really common or rampant in Nigeria. A lot of people feel that since it's not in their family, they don't have, um, they are not at risk of having breast cancer. But cancer can develop this, despite the fact that it's in the family or not.